So what kill 4v4 is, guys? Well, guys, I gotta tell y'all a little bit of a story. You know, I'm going to take you back to 2012, 2013, 2014, when the fork glitch didn't exist. So back then, there were like 20 or, or 30 different clans, all with like 20 player rosters, and their entire fan base, their viewership and everything, it was absolutely insane. If you go back then, and you look at like the number of views these old clan matches got, if you look at um, you look at like the crowds in in the spar chamber and stuff, anytime these people fought, you you would understand that it was a pretty pretty big end game activity. In fact, you know now it could have been you know one of the main ones if it weren't for this glitch. Now you know this game in many ways died because of the lack of attention that it got. Um, we you know every now and then we get like a little update, but that's like just about it. No world content or anything. So you know the end game activities are particularly important for the players who've stuck around. So that's why I you know kind of felt like I had to make this video. So guys, what is the fork glitch? The fork glitch is basically when time protections don't wear off for any reason. You can't purge them off. You can't wait them off. You can't you know surge them off. You can't do anything to get them off. Now if you like look at the unit, you know it it will um. It won't display the fort when, when the fort glitch triggers, right? Like right here at this Nazica, you see it has an assassin tick on it, okay? However, the effects are very real. Now, in a second, you know, the other team's going to attack this Nazica. Now, we're not actually doing a real 4v4 here, okay? You know, one of us will flee as soon as we demonstrate this thing, but me and Rio, you know, we both quad screen it. You know, that's the other hilarious part, guys. People um, can't even get four people together because of of, uh, of this glitch. Like no one's interested in even demonstrating the fort glitch anymore. Uh, but we're two we're two YouTube channels, by the way. Shout out to Rio's channel, link down below in the description. He also streams some uh, Rainbow Six Siege as well. So if you want to check out his Twitch, it's it's there in the description. So would appreciate if you follow him over and at least see what he's all about. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's kind of a catch-22, guys. Um, you know, people now look at 4v4s or the fort glitch and are like, you know, why would people, you know, bother fixing this thing? No one does 4v4s anymore. Well, you know, people don't do 4v4s anymore because of this glitch. You know, if you want to have, if you want to see proof of of the 4v4s being a serious thing, go back to 2012, 2013, early 2014, and you can see for yourself. Okay, it was something that was taken very seriously, but obviously, no one can do it anymore. Um, but yeah, no, it's frustrating. You know, we've tried for like six, seven years to to get the devs to address this, and you know, they haven't. Like they've said that they've known that known this glitch existed. Um, but that they basically aren't going to fix it yet. Um, who knows? This this round of uh, bug fixes, you know, we have high hopes that they will do something. Um, let's hope we're not disappointed. Now, look at the pets in the background, guys. You see, they've not moved from their spawn. Same goes for my team as well in this uh, in this recording. That's part of the glitch as well. So, guys, this is what kill 4v4 is. Now. This is why we should be particularly hopeful about the update, because it is specifically a bug fix update. They need to fix this 4v4. Anyway, guys, it's been your friend and pal, the Fierce of Marpadecki. I know the video is short today, uh, but, you know, it, it, it's, it is the explanation, guys. It's all there is to why 4v4s died. Well, I'll see y'all in the next video. Quack-a-diddle-doo, and peace out for now.